don't. Oh, that's Warner Brothers. Yes, oh. that's right. So <laughs> Warner Brothers. So my buddy actually think I think I think was it you or another friend? He was saying something like that's just one um, studio though. Like eventually they're gonna crack. Yeah, I think I was talking about buddy. He's like something about um, it's not gonna last because unless everyone else does it, like Universal, Paramount. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know. I, I think like I, if, know, like I know. I know Warner Brothers. Yeah, because if the competitors are like, no, like if you want to watch our movies, it's in the theaters, right? You know, Warner Brothers, they're lucky. They have a great IP. Like they have a lot of great titles. Um, they also own HBO. Or they also own the HBO, which is a that huge owns, owns HBO. Yes, exactly. Yeah. However, it's still a percentage of the, the market. Like, for example, Disney. If Disney's still saying, yeah, we're still releasing our movies in theaters, we all know Disney is a huge, huge player in the game. Hmm. Um, so I guess his opinion, his argument, um, and I can see some truth to that is it'll only be for so long. Um, I feel for Warner Brothers though. I think it's one of those things that they're trying to make both people parties happy. Um, because you got people like me, you got people like us that are mm. like, Hey, we really want to watch, you know, Wonder Woman in the theater, let's mm-hmm. say. Right. Um, uh, but you got people like, you know, my sister, uh, that are like, yeah, that's fine. I could just watch it on my phone. Like it's not a big deal. Mm-hmm. Right? So they want to appease to both, but they, they're making up for lost time. They can't afford to, you know what I mean, man? Like, okay, let's pretend 2020 didn't happen. Yeah. Um, and they're very lucky. Like things aren't getting leaked. Um, I'm surprised. <laughs> right? yeah. like, I'm like, surprised too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised the editors are not leaking shit, man. I'm very surprised. None of them are doing that whatsoever. But it's just so funny Crazy. to me because AMC has now threatened Warner Brothers that they're going to cut the prices of movie tickets to like $4. And they're going to keep the price, most of the price of revenue. Was movie tickets, so Warner Bar is gonna lose revenue on movie tickets for distribution. But here's the thing: this is why I think it's yeah, it's yeah. so brilliant what they're doing, because Warner Bros. acknowledges the Netflix model if they do that. Because oh, yeah. at the end of the day, who goes to theater anymore? Like we go yeah. we go to movie theaters because we love cinema. Yeah, of course. But. Like your sister, your sister doesn't care about going to cinema. The reality is, yeah, the reality. What Christian's saying, is, <laughs> we're watching people, it on our phone, man. Yeah, <laughs> like, what okay. Christian's saying, man, is the reality is, is people are not. Yeah, it's true, man. Watch, like, the, watch go, the cinemas change, man. But to be honest, man, yeah, the only reason why we go to the cinema, or at least I do, like once in a while, I might watch. Like I watched Parasite in the theater, or like Lighthouse. Mm-hmm. That was pretty cool. But if it wasn't like hyped, and it wasn't you know doing really well, um. I wouldn't really watch it in a theater. It would be more of a TV movie. Like you watch it um, on a big screen at home, whatever. Mm -hmm. The only reason what I'm trying to get at is with the theaters, I only go and watch, you know, big movies like Wonder Woman, James Bond, um, you know, if a Star Wars movie comes out, those are what I call theater movies. Very rarely I would go to see 90% of the other movies. That, mm-hmm. that are actually good and like you watch mm-hmm. whatever like I'm, I'm happy to watch like I don't mind watching social network on my tv like I don't need to watch it mm-hmm. in a theater you know no disrespect to David Fincher because I know how much he prides himself on that quality mm-hmm. of a film however um the the this the theaters are designed for just these big blockbuster popcorn movies that's why you have studio execs freaking out like why didn't it make a billion and it's like because 800 million is still fine it's like no it has mm-hmm. to make a billion you know um we're, we're not exaggerating there there's the studios have now like i remember it was uh, batman and superman for superman they consider that a failure they made yeah, 825 yeah they made 825 million and it was supposed to it didn't pass the billion dollar threshold so they were yeah. like yeah it, it's a it's a crap man but but then like this should, this should excite you too now because yeah. high budget movies are not going to be a thing anymore in five years is this if this coronavirus continues and here's oh, why course, yeah if I can make a movie for like two or three million for mm-hmm. rom com, mm-hmm. and I, and I know I'm going to distribute to Netflix, all I yep. need is a certain amount of watches to make my money back. Yeah, because compared to making a big blockbuster where you can make a big ordeal out of things, people mm-hmm. going to the theater and and the theater is jam packed for a couple of weeks, people are now realizing that I can have a great movie experience at home. Yep. So why am I going to watch Wonder Woman with like 20 people when I'm worried I might get sick of these 20 people within two years when I can be already watching it at home? Yeah. Now I have Twitter open and now I can live watch it with the producer, with the star, 
on the same exact time. Yeah, get more feedback, get more get knowledge, more feedback. Right? Exactly, man. I don't know, man. People Bieber did that upset. with his uh, Justin Bieber did that actually with. I've been following him um, with his uh, singles. Every time he dropped a single, got Chance the yeah. Rapper, he got uh, Shawn Mendes. Now music is a different, you know, uh, category, but it's the concept is there. Like people, same, same, same principle. I'm guilty of that. Like I watch them because as human beings, you love that humanity, you love that rawness. Like it's not mm -hmm. edited. It's just two people on a webcam, kind of what we're kind of like what we're doing. Yeah. No one's monitoring this call. Like it's just, mm -hmm. we're spitting facts. Like, Oh yeah, I had a great time. Remember that time when you jumped off and it, it's just, um, I think it's going to change. Yeah. It's going to change the game. Um, people forget. I always say this, right. We learned this in marketing. First rule is 18 mm -hmm. to 34. That's your prime market. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, our generation. That's, that's who we're, you know, there's some of us like small percent, like we still prefer the movie theater, but did you hear how I just talked? I just said, yeah, but I prefer some movies on the TV. It doesn't be mm -hmm. a big deal. Like the generation before us was like, no, nah, like I don't, don't want to watch on TV. Yeah. Cause they also had like 32 inch size. Mm -hmm. So, um, generation has changed, man. Things are changing. It's inevitable. 